Hi everyone, welcome back today. We're doing a quick little one day vlog. I actually wasn't going to post anything this weekend, but um, <clears throat> I always do this. I'm like, nope, I'm not going to get dressed today or I'm not cleaning the bathroom because I don't feel like it, so I'm not gonna do it. But then I just think about it and I think about it and I think about it and then I just end up doing it because it's driving me nuts. So I was at that point with a video and I thought, I'm just gonna film because Ken and I are gonna go out for a walk take you out for a little wander around through Amsterdam during this quarantine, lockdown, virus time of life, um, and just hang out with us for the day, I guess. We're not doing anything, as most of us are. <laughs> We're all in the same boat here. Um, but I thought I'd update you on a few things we've done around the house, take you on a walk, and that's probably about it. <laughs> so this morning, basically all I've done is scrubbed the bathrooms. I haven't really gone that crazy with cleaning, but the bathrooms were really striking my fancy today. So um, that is a job. It was my workout. <sighs> if you live in a place with hard water, you can feel the pain, but um, yeah, it's a lot of scrubbing. My arm actually is, has that, you know, lactic acid buildup feeling just from like the scrubbing. I had to do the whole shower and of course is like looking like it was splattered with milk. So it took a little while, a good few hours between the floors and the tub and the shower and the sink and everything else in the bathroom is like covered in spots and whatnot, like all my skincare products and everything all have to be scrubbed down. So that was a chore that I was kind of dreading for some time. Got that done, that's all good. Kitchen still needs a good clean, especially the stove top. I was gonna do that the other day, but then I remembered that Ken was cooking dinner and you never deep clean your kitchen when you know your husband's gonna be cooking. We have new flower friends in the house. Big, huge bunches of them here. So pretty. One of our good friends here in Amsterdam actually picked up a whole bunch of them because he got them for like next to nothing because they're basically gonna be trash. Around right now is tulip season. So uh, yeah, a lot of those tulips are unfortunately not gonna be seen and they're gonna be just chopped up into mulch. I saw a article and it just showed the tulips in like a million pieces. It's very sad. But anyways, he saved all these flowers, gave a bunch of them to us, which was really nice. I love them. I've been doing some gardening outside actually. I mean, you know, gardening. I have a black thumb, so it's not real gardening, but these two baskets, if you remember from last summer, I bought mini roses at the market over on Westerstraat in Amsterdam. Planted those last year, they died off. I did not winterize them because, I don't know, I just figured they wouldn't last the winter and I didn't think about it, so they're just sitting there not doing so good for the winter. But doing some Googling, apparently they can come back. So I have fixed up their soil, put in fresh soil, re-fertilized um, with rose fertilizer from last year. Hopefully it's still good. <laughs> Trimmed them down to about, it said three to four inches from where the soil is. Some of them are actually still green. Let's go see. So some of these guys actually don't look horrible, like they're still green there, but other ones are like really dead. But I saw some videos on YouTube of people bringing the roses back to life when they look even worse than this. So, I mean, those people know what they're doing. I don't. So yeah, wish us luck. And then I fixed up my little herb garden in the corner there too, got that all cleaned up. Spring cleaning, very small version of spring cleaning. So yeah, if you follow along on Instagram, you will have seen that I've been posting quite a bit over there. So if I don't end up getting videos up in the next few weeks, hard to say, I really don't know. Um, but I have been over on Instagram posting lots over there. Me sitting on the patio, uh, doing some coloring, listening to podcasts, just kind of hanging out there enjoying the sunshine because it is nice. It literally feels like we went from winter to summer. It's hot which is why we're gonna get outside and get a walk in today. We were kind of half waiting around for a delivery from bold.com, which is kind of like Amsterdam's Amazon. I finally bought clippers to do Ken's hair. I did give him a haircut. I think I mentioned that to you guys. I gave him a haircut a couple weeks ago just to kind of figure out, is this doable or am I gonna give him like a rat tail by accident? 
but it actually went really well. I feel pretty confident with scissors in my hands. I was surprised. I didn't do much. It was like a tiny little baby trim. So I've got the clippers. He likes it a bit shorter, which I can't really do with scissors. So we bit the bullet, got the clippers. I'm determined I'm gonna learn how to cut this man's hair. Um, they're supposed to be delivered like three days ago. It keeps saying like, today you'll be, it'll be delivered. Today it'll be delivered. And there's nothing here. So I don't want to really miss that because it could just go into Timbuktu and be hard to catch, but. Not gonna miss out on the sunshine either, so. Hello. Nay. <laughs> the other thing we might do a little bit later is pop by <laughs> the Koshi store. This thing has incredible section on it. I think we're out of wine and beer once again. That is a common occurrence over here um, with all the happy hours we've been doing. And I say we go to the grocery store, meaning we'll go for a walk. Ken will go in, get the groceries, not both of us. But I think we have food for the next few days. That's the strange thing about um, this whole thing with groceries and everything over here. The grocery shops are a lot smaller. You can't get things in huge packs. You know, you can't go to Costco and just buy like 30 chicken breasts in one big box, at least not in the grocery shops that are close to us. And also our fridges and freezers are much smaller. So we did buy a few extra things for the freezer and whatnot to get us through longer. Cause obviously <laughs> we're readjusting from adjusting to our grocery shopping ways. Because when we, obviously when we lived in Vancouver, the common thing is to buy a whole bunch of groceries, like a week's worth of groceries at least. And you stock up on things, you have lots in your freezer to work with. The thing to do here um, is to daily grocery shop, which I got used to very quickly. I really liked it. But now we're having to go back again to our old way and trying to stock up on things and get enough for at least a week. So it's weird, flip flop, flip flop. Snip, snap, snip, snap, as Michael Scott would say. <laughs> yeah, our freezer is tiny. We've got a few things in there, but you really can't get much in there. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna have to pick up a few more things, I think. I'm hoping that Ken is going to allow me to film him today because um, he's got a new accessory, <laughs> Caterpillar friend. As we all know, I'm, I'm very much into these like 60s, 70s things. So I asked Ken if he would grow a mustache because I personally really like facial hair and really love a mustache. So he thought he would go for it and it's actually getting quite long. He's not sure about it, um, but I, I love it. I'm like looking at him and I'm like, it's like, oh, you're a pervert. <laughs> it's kind of more scruffy looking today because he hasn't shaved the face. So it's like a medium stash and a couple days of uh, stubble, but he, he probably won't let me film, but we'll see. Oh, look at that. Look how pretty. So yesterday on our little walk, we went um, past a favorite secondhand vintage kind of store, hoping, hoping that they would have a few things outside and they did, you can't go inside. It's the one that's like stacked full to the top of random crap. <laughs> I love that place, but um, obviously you can't go inside. There's no way you could go in there and be six feet away from somebody. But they have brought a few selected items outside onto the street, kind of like garage sale style. So we happened to just go past their shop and I spotted this guy, does that not scream Andrea? Let me show it to you. I'm not gonna try it on because it'll be in the thrift haul at some point, but. Okay, I saw this hanging on a wardrobe. I think it was a wardrobe next to another bright green dress. And I knew I had to have this guy. Oh my gosh, look how pretty. It's very like chic pilgrim is how I would describe it. It is almost too small for me. Actually, the woman that was working there she knows me, she knows that I, I go through that stuff, her stuff frequently. She was like, don't, don't you wanna try it on before you buy it? And I was like, does the quarantine 15 really hit me that hard already? I think, it, I think it'll be okay. I was like pulling at the waist to see, um, cause that's the only spot I was really concerned about was at the waist there, if it was gonna fit, but it does. And I actually had a tiny bit of extra room and then ties with the little belt. Has a zipper up the side, but has a really nice full bottom to it. So you can like, get a real nice circle skirt swirl <laughs> in and little lace details and then matching on the collar and then it actually buttons off if you want to take the little collar off. Yeah, I just thought that was so cute. Reminded me a lot of the one I got back home from a thrift shop actually. Where is that guy? This one, my little homemade dress. This one, similar style shape, like the big shoulders that come off the side. This one's accentuated with the white piping there. 
and then comes in at the waist, long flowy midi style dress. So yeah, can't wait to wear that. Very excited. It has very much like a fall vibe to it. Um, I definitely could wear it with like brown boots in the fall and a jacket over top, but I think it'll be great for spring too. Definitely with cowboy boots. I can't wait to wear both of these with my cowboy boots actually when, you know, I have places to go. <laughs> so yeah, I paid 10 euros for this guy, which I'm not mad about. Um, back home, that would be, in my mind, a little bit pricey for a secondhand dress, but this thing is really well made. I don't think it's homemade. No, 10 euros, I'm helping support them, keep them in business, because I love that shop. Good little find. Okay, let's see if Ken is ready for our walk. Hello. Hello. Are you ready to take me for a walk? Yep. Like five minutes? Uh, like two minutes. Two minutes, wow. Wowie Maui. Do you think you want to show off your mustache? No. No. I think you'll be surprised at how many people like it. Um, yeah, that's what matters to me. Maybe just a little sneaky clip. I thought I would quickly show you what I'm wearing today. It's not pajamas. Oh, I forgot my socks. Need socks first. Cowboy boots going out for a little stroll today. Super comfy. I love these guys. I thrifted these many, many moons ago. Woohoo! Okay, this is my first time putting it all together, and I'm thinking it doesn't quite feel right. This is actually a skirt that I got. It's vintage skirt, really paper tissue thin. So I've actually got a slip and my shapewear shorts underneath there to cover everything I feel comfortable covering. So it's meant to sit kind of like at the waist there. I mean, I don't hate it at that length. What I had in mind, I thought this length up here, so like at my bra line would work better, but I think I might actually wanna pull it all the way up and see how that looks. Make it more like a sweater over a short skirt. Pull it all the way up in the back. I don't know, maybe that doesn't work either. Oh boy, I should have stuck with sweatpants. <laughs> yeah, actually once I've gathered more of the fabric into the back so it's not so voluminous across the front here, I think I like that better. We're gonna go with that. That is good enough for a little walk. Exciting adventure out and about. Look at that. Hey, get out of there. I look like an egghead. My hair, the wind is blowing towards me and my hair is gone. Sexy stash. So this is Winkle. <laughs> Famous for their apple pie. If you've been to Amsterdam, I'm sure a lot of people told you you have to come here for apple pie. There's usually a lineup out the door, full seating inside. Usually this is packed, obviously not at the moment, but they have set up a little to-go station here. This is Ken's favorite apple pie. Lots of coffee. And a pie. You're gonna get pie too? Yeah. Woo, look at the stash. Little friend. <laughs> this is the big adventure today. Oh man, look at that. Yum. Oh, I should put cream on the side. Yeah, that's nice, eh? Oh, boy. Most shops and whatnot have put out tape or markings on the sidewalk, so we all keep our distance. The usual marking of where to stand. Would you like a pie to eat right away or take away home? I'll uh, eat it right away. Eat it right away with whipped cream. We've noticed a lot of places, especially pubs and bars, doing this, taking advantage of the time that they're closed by painting and we've seen people refinishing all their wood furniture because a lot of stuff is wood here. It's kind of cool. Everything will be brand spanking new by the time we're allowed back into the pubs. <laughs> He's looking for a good spot to eat his pie. Look at this, folks. Look at that crest. Ooh. Kinda good this was. <laughs>
All right, we are back at home, all scrubbed up, double scrubbed, scrubbed with soap, and then hand sanitizer on top of that. <laughs> but that felt good to get outside, get some fresh air. There is a still a surprising amount of people outdoors, but I think they're doing the same thing as us pretty much. They're either on their bike or they are just out getting some fresh air. There were a handful of shops open. Like I said, yesterday I found that dress, that little shop open, but for the most part, they're all closed. Restaurants, bars, everything's closed. Everyone's going one by one into the liquor stores and the grocery store shops and whatnot. We line up outside. Um, where you saw us going into was the liquor store, so it's very, very small in there. It was one person at a time, which is good. Yeah, definitely feels quiet, but I mean, that's a good thing. <laughs> so I'm gonna organize dinner, which I mean, that's not saying, that's making it sound more than it is. I'm going to take out some sausages from the freezer and let them defrost, and that's basically it. Yeah, I bought these the other day, frozen sausages. My mom's probably wondering, what the heck? Are you actually gonna eat sausages? I'm known for calling sausages and hamburgers and whatnot mystery meat because it is a mystery as to what is in those sausages. But these ones, I know I like and they haven't weirded me out yet. So I continue eat to eat them. Ken really likes them. And then we're gonna roast some Brussels sprouts and call it dinner on top of cocktail hour, which, ooh, I think it's like an hour till cocktail time. And then we are Skyping with our friends from London. Actually, there were our neighbors above us for in London for Ken for two years. I was there for one year. Yes, we did a long distance for a year, I think it was, wasn't it? Felt longer. <laughs> Anyways, we became really good friends with them. They're in London. We're here. Uh, so we're going to do a Skype call with them once their baby goes down. Uh, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> If you notice in some of those clips that I'm like looking over my shoulder, like I've got a crook in my neck, it's because I have a really horrible crook in my neck. I literally can't look any farther than that. It's actually quite a bit farther than this morning. I think this morning I was about here and I've been stretching it all day and oh, oh I hate that. It feels like there's like two bones crunching against each other, but it's just something knotted back there. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I know it's a quick short one, but um, Literally, there's nothing else to vlog, I don't think. <laughs> so I might as well um, put you out of your misery now and end it here. Hopefully there's something more entertaining in the vlog next week. Oh, it's so exciting to wait and see. What is it gonna be? Is it crap? Could be. Sounds like a song. Yeah, so hopefully you did enjoy it. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you go ahead and do that. Give the video a like if you did enjoy it. Let me know what you want me to film, if you have any specifics, because I'm kind of, I'm running dry, running on empty at the moment. Uh, hence this very random, not my greatest work vlog today. <laughs> so thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Yep. <laughs> We're gonna bonk heads. <laughs> so, oh, you. <laughs>